Today's adults are shaping the world which the future generations will inherit. But too many are doing so recklessly, selfishly, and with no sense of responsibility for the consequences of their actions. The world our children are inheriting is not yet a safe, sustainable, or fair world they deserve. During COP26, research was released indicating that even with all new policy pledges considered, global warming could only be limited to a 2.4 degrees Celsius rise by 2100. This temperature rise would mean anybody aged under 30 years old is all but guaranteed to be alive in a world where we will face terrible fires, devastating floods and droughts, and where millions of people will be forced to leave their homes. In Kalyanpur slum, there are no road names. Every year, climate change is forcing half a million Bangladeshis from their rural homes. There will be a disproportionate climate change burden for young generations in the global south. Young people are very aware of the intergenerational injustice of the climate crisis. They have rightly been demanding all the people in positions of authority are held to account for their inaction. Leaders need to listen to them and act in a way that meets their concerns. These young activists embody the solidarity that our leaders have thus far failed to demonstrate. They speak up not only for themselves, but for generations as yet unborn. The elders believe intergenerational dialogue is vital in addressing the climate crisis. The clarity, commitment, and energy of young people, combined with the experience and wisdom of older generations, can act as a powerful catalyst for climate action. We all have a part to play in addressing the climate crisis, especially those with the power needed to bring about change. Climate change is a defining crisis of our time. The elders call on all generations to step up to the challenges and to take collective responsibility to do what is needed. As the elders founder Nelson Mandela once said, I quote, it always seems impossible until it is done. Thank you.